Hey guys, it's Coding Jesus. Welcome to my eighth episode of my C++ quiz series, a series where we look at various C++ concepts through practical quiz type problems. Now, before I get into this episode's problem, I want to discuss the format of these starting this episode and moving forward. So previously what I did is I posed a problem, gave you some time to think about it, and then showed you the answer and explained the answer. Now, what I'm gonna be doing for more thoroughness so people understand why the answer is the way it is, I'm to, going to be including a link in the description box below to all the references that I've used to come up with the explanation for the actual quiz type problem itself. Whether you want to verify what I'm saying or whether you would like to go and do more research about that given concept, that is now available for you in the description box below. So that's what I'll be doing. Okay, now without further ado, let's get into this episode's mini quiz type problem. So what we're doing here is we are initializing three variables, A, B, and C, all to one. All our integers, uh, that's straightforward from this line. The next thing we're gonna be doing is printing out this line right here. There's gonna be some evaluation going on here. And then printing out each variable A, B, and C. If you know the answer to this video, you can continue watching, but if you don't, pause the video now and give it a think. All right, so hopefully you've thought about it. Now I'm actually going to be explaining or showing what the answer is and explaining why that's the case. All right, so the answer is one, two, one, one. Why is that the case? What's going on here? Well, to understand this problem, you really need to understand three concepts. The first is precedence. The second is evaluation order. And the third is short circuiting. So let's talk about precedence first. There's really two operators here. There's the or, the logical or, and the logical and. When it comes to precedence, the logical and is much higher in precedence than the logical or. So this and expression right here is actually equivalent to this. So let's, let's do this for simplicity. Let's show you what it's equivalent to. Okay, now let's talk about order of evaluation. So both the and and the or have left right order of evaluation. So we're going to be looking at, at we're going to be looking at it in this direction. A and then this part. Okay, so what actually goes on here? Well, what goes on here is that we looked at the first side, the left side of the or. And on the left side of the or we increment a, plus plus a. Okay? So a becomes two. Now, why doesn't B and C change? Why is there no evaluation here? This is our third concept called short circuiting. What happens with short circuiting works like this. Let's say you have an OR and you have the left side and the right side of the OR. If the left side of the OR evaluates the true, the right side isn't even considered. That's why B and C here aren't incremented for consideration to see whether this is actually true because short circuiting takes place. So what happens is that we have one, one and one as A, B and C. We come here plus plus a becomes two, and two is not zero, so it's true. So this evaluates to true. Now when you print true, you'll get one. So that's the first one that we have here. The next thing we do is we print out a, b, and c. Now I already mentioned that a becomes two, so a is two. But like I mentioned, because of short circuiting, b and c aren't even considered. So b remains at one, and c remains at one. So that's the answer to this episode's problem. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want more content, and leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you thought of this video and whether you liked it or not. I always read your comments and I try my best to reply to all of them. Cheers, guys.